English, wrong answer. Yes, okay, that's a very nice question. Okay. The, her question was, why did I write in English, not in Arabic? Lay back to the English part. Okay, um, I'm a graduate of the Faculty of Health, and I majored in English Literature. So I have a good grip of English. The second point is, it's a psychological thing. When I write in English, I feel liberated. I feel that there is a flow, words just come out. When I first tried to write in Arabic, I had a mental block that the words would just get stuck. I cannot express them. Currently, after about a year from the publishing of my book, I began writing in Arabic, but it's not the same. My articles in Arabic, people like them because of the thoughts, because of the ideas, but not because of the structure of the sentence or how artistic the sentence is. There's nothing artistic about my Arabic, it's too blunt. But when it comes to English, there is, um, I don't know, it's, there is sense. Yeah, it kind of flows. It's, it's, a, it's like, a, 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 it's a, for me, it's art. So with English, I have a better grip of expressing my ideas and having analogies and having uh, metaphors and giving examples. And it just flows. I don't feel inhibited. It's like, I wrote some people and she called for you. Thank you. Put this to and I gave up my message. Yes, I hope I read your book. And uh, no, no, it wasn't her. <laughs> Did you find how to say you want to do it? You, 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 you read your object. Yeah, you read your object. To put people, to, people to think, okay? okay? And why not put this in Arabic? Pay some money for the doctor. Have you read this? I'm here, President. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay. okay. And how do you feel this day when you talk with this day? Well, I don't talk to her anymore, but when she told me, because that was the first reaction I get like this. So I didn't know her, she just stopped me, and she said, I read your book, I love your book, I got divorced. <laughs> and, and, and I was shocked, I didn't know how to react, is that good or bad? And then she told me that she was married to an abusive man, who was emotionally abusive and verbally abusive. It wasn't physical, it was emotional, and it was verbal. She told me that she never had the strength or the courage or the guts to break away from them. She was always afraid of the devil that she doesn't know. So when she read my book, she said she cannot get any worse. And she just moved ahead.